Um, hello, uh, friends, and in this uh, video, we will learn uh, vocabulary. I keep uh, doing this uh, for a long time to improve my English uh, vocabulary, and hopefully, as you also uh, uh, like my methods of uh, learning English. So, um, I think if you want to improve your speaking and also improve your vocabulary, you should use this method. So we try to understand the meaning of uh, those words in English explanation. Yeah. Okay. And for the first words we uh, learn in uh, today is the word uh, testifies. It is verb, right? So um, you can see uh, the picture, right? For this uh, woman is defending uh, her because uh, there is another person accused her uh, guilty of uh, doing something. And for the person who bring uh, this case to the court, we call uh, plaintiff. Okay. And let's see the definition, uh, the meaning of this was testify. Testify is a verb. It means to talk and give answers to questions, especially in the court of uh, law or uh, before lawmakers. And uh, we have on an uh, example how we use the word uh, testify like this. She refused to testify against her husband. Yeah, so through this uh, sentence, we can guess, right? Uh, for this woman loves her husband so much because she refused to testify against her husband. So I think uh, for her husband, right, or the two physical powers to uh, attack her, yeah, hit her, but uh, she refused to testify against her husband, yeah, because uh, she does not want to uh, bring her husband into the prison, right? Yeah, it is uh, a great woman. And we have the second example, how we use the word testify like this. There are several witnesses who will testify for the defense. There are several witnesses who will testify for the defense. Okay. So um, in this uh, sentence, you understand, right? And there is one, um, yes, one accusation, right? Uh, uh, in the course. And uh, yeah, there are several witnesses yeah, who will testify. Uh, to defend, yeah, defendant, right? To defend defendant. Yes, uh, and for the person who brings the case to the court, we call a uh, plaintiff. And who uh, need to talk, uh, testify to protect uh, yourself, we call a uh, defendant. Yeah. Uh, if you cannot uh, testif testify by only you, so you can um, need the support from other people who also know about that case. And they will go to the court to testify uh, to protect you, uh, such as in this example, right? There are several witnesses uh, who know about this case, uh, this case, right? Yeah. And they will testify for the uh, defense, okay? And we had the third example, how would you the word testify like this? I was approached by a man I did not recognize she testified, right? Yeah, it is so dangerous now for her, right? Because uh, she was approached by a man uh, she did not recognize, right? Yeah, so I think uh, it is uh, so scary, right? So if you uh, walk on the streets and there is another person, right, approach you, but you did not uh, know that uh, person before, yeah, it is so dangerous. And hopefully that uh, we never meet uh, this case, right? Especially if you walk uh, on the streets in a dark place, right? It is so dangerous. Yeah, so I also recommend you uh, should not uh, stay outside uh, too late, right? Should uh, come back to your home before uh, 10 p.m. Yeah. For me, I'm boy, right? But uh, yeah, I often uh, come back to my home before uh, 10 p.m. Yeah, at night I still go out to drink a coffee with my friends, but I always uh, come back uh, uh, early. Yeah. Okay, and for...